what's up you guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here my name is Irene Kadambi yeah as soon mom to be a PhD student and a natural hair enthusiast and that's the kind of content you expect to see on this channel so um last week i didn't upload any video uh this girl has started procrastinating too early but yeah anyway we are here today so today is the 30th of january and i'm actually now 29 weeks along like you guys i can't believe it it feels just like the other day and in less than three months my baby will be here let's say in around 20 weeks the baby will be here 10 weeks 10 to 12 weeks the baby will be here so i'm quite excited yeah and i thought since i did a recap of how my first trimester was i can as well do a recap of the second trimester so the first trimester i think is normally from you know when you realize you're pregnant to week 13 and then the second trimester starts from week 14 to week 27 and then the third is from week 28 to the end and um i didn't document my first trimester that's why i just did the recap i tried to document the second trimester in terms of photos but i did so poorly i've taken a total of four photos i wanted to do weekly like because I started taking the photos in week 17, the plan was to do those photos weekly wearing the same clothes so that I can see that, you know, the changes, the way my body was changing. Man, you guys, like, I don't know why I feel sometimes like it's too much to just dress up and take the photos. So yeah, I have two photos taken in a, in a black dress and two photos taken in this dress. And actually the fourth one uh, and the fifth one that I've taken just right now before starting this video. So anyway, let's get into the recap of the second trimester. So um, the first, let's say three weeks of the second trimester was like the transitional period when the morning sickness is not that too bad, such things, you know. And then from there, let's say from around week 16, 17, that's when now I stopped having all those things and I started now having appetite. In the first trimester, I didn't add weight at all, at all. And I remember getting worried. I'm like, man, isn't my baby growing? Sometimes I think I was even losing the weight because uh, eating was a problem. Then second trimester came with massive appetite. You guys have been eating a lot. Like the second trimester, I was eating until I would feel sorry for myself. Like when I say I was eating a lot, I mean I was eating large quantities and very frequently. In the morning, it's hunger that would wake me up. Like I couldn't even, like when I wake up, I couldn't just say, let me stay in bed in like for like 20, 10 minutes. No, I'd be so hungry. I have to wake up and go look for something to eat. So because of that, let's say from around week uh, 17 to week 25, 26, I added 10 kgs. Yeah, that's that's 10 kgs in around two months i added a lot of weight so fast fast it's like i was adding more than a kg every week but i'm not complaining so yeah it was nice to eat i've always wanted to add weight even now i'm hoping that you know i will not lose the weight i just lose the belly and yeah hopefully that will happen then from around week 26 i stopped adding the weights like my weight has been stagnant so let's say when i got pregnant i weighed around 52 53 kgs and now i weigh 64 kgs so let's have added 10 to 11 kgs in total but for the past three weeks i've not noticed any change because i try i track my weight on weekly basis not because i'm worried of gaining weight like i've told you guys i've wanted to gain weight like forever for like forever but I just wanted to see the progress. I want the plan was to monitor my weight and how my body is changing. Yeah, I managed to track the weight, but not 
um, taking the photos. So there was that. Then what else? You guys, my baby took so long to start kicking. Like he was moving. Like when I went for the the second ultrasound, which was uh, at 22 weeks. I could see the baby is moving but I wasn't feeling anything and the midwives were looking at me like you can't be serious like you're not feeling the baby moving so anyway my baby started um, kicking like I started feeling the kicks from around week 23 and I was tired of googling so but I was comforted by the fact that they were saying the kicks can start from week 16 to around week 24 and if after week 24 you don't feel anything, then you're supposed to see a doctor. So that was a bit comforting. And I remember when it started, I was just lying down at night and I, I felt those kind of flutters. And I was like, Is, are those the kicks? Let me not get excited. Let me wait and see. And then from there, they started getting stronger and stronger. So that was really nice. And I like it. Like I was looking forward to the kicks because they kind of gives me some kind of assurance that the baby is okay so if i feel he hasn't kicked for so long i'm like okay i stop and then do some movements and then when he kicks i'm like okay now we can continue so i really like the kicks and yeah sometimes i talk to him when he starts kicking it's really nice also during the second trimester i got confirmation of the gender of the baby i I knew the gender of the baby from the 12th week when I went for the first scan and I wasn't prepared for it. I didn't know they can tell the gender of the baby at that, you know, at 12 weeks because it's something very small. So I was just lying there and the midwife is like, would you like to know the gender of the baby? And then I closed my eyes. I'm like, do I want to, do I want to, do I want to? And then I was like, yes. And then he, she said, I think it's a boy, like with 70% accuracy. So I've known the gender from way early, uh, but it was nice to get the full confirmation, uh, like during the second scan, which was on during the, which which was at 22 weeks. So yeah, I'm excited for my baby boy to be here. So mm -hmm, what else has happened during the second trimester? Yeah, like you can see the bump has really grown. Maybe I can stand so that you guys can see. The bump has really grown, but I'll put two photos here so that you can see. The one I took at week 17 and the one I took at week 29. Okay, 29 is already in the third trimester, but it's okay. So yeah, I'll put those photos here so that you can see how my body has changed. Then... Um, Towards the end of second trimester, that's when I started now getting tired, like um, back aches when I sit for so long, one of my foot, that is my, my right, my right leg, not foot, my right leg getting tired all the way from the hip bone if I walk or stand for so long, yeah, and then I started having acid reflux the acid reflux came back so badly like towards the very end from around week 25 and it it would be so bad such that it would burn me here and when it happens like even swallowing when i swallow anything even what i could feel that irritation so yeah i have some suspensions that i could take whenever i felt it to stop it but yeah, I had to research, uh, instead of taking, um, keeping on taking the suspensions, I had to research on how to, to reduce it. So I found that in the third trimester, um, the body, like the digestion is slow. So that's why I used to get the reflux. And remember, I'm telling you guys, I used to eat a lot. So the recommendation was, in the third trimester, one should try and eat lighter meals. So I stopped taking the large portions and started cutting them in smaller ones. And then I, I started making sure that I don't eat anything at least two hours to bed. Then I did that and it wasn't stopping. At least I stopped having it during the day. 
and now it would be at night and it would happen when I lie down on my right hand side like you know at night you're just sleeping well on your left side and then you know you turn when I turn to the right then that reflex would come and sometimes I would have to wake up and take the suspension and I remember telling my friend and she's like maybe it's psychological and when she said that, I was like, okay, let me Google if I'm going crazy. So I Googled and yeah, it's actually common that during the third trimester that happens. The explanation is they are saying when lying on, the, on your right side, your stomach is actually above your esophagus, creating a leaky faucet, spouting stomach acid into the delicate lining of your esophagus this is especially true when your stomach is full but now you see this was happening for me even after i started i stopped taking any meals at least two hours before going to bed so at this point even the backache was a problem and then i can't lie on one side like the whole night you guys like it's it's impossible so <laughs> I, I was even considering getting the pregnancy pillow, but man, the cost of that thing, like, scares me. Okay, like, it's not too expensive, but I'm like, 30 to 40 euros, I don't feel like I want to buy it. And what if it doesn't work? Anyway, I've seen so many reviews about it, but I'm still hesitant to get it. So yeah, I was considering getting it because, uh, for my back, and also, I was hoping that it would be more comfortable maybe it's designed in, in such a way that whatever they are seeing there doesn't happen but then i was like okay before i buy it let me try something so before i got pregnant i never used to, to use a pillow like my bed has a million of pillows but i don't use i never used to use any of them so when i got pregnant i started being uncomfortable uh, sleeping without one i started using the the fiber one that is not too thick and now when I read that, when I lie, when you lie down on your right hand, uh, on your right side, the stomach is above the esophagus, I was like, what if I raise my, my upper body more, I add another pillow? Maybe that way, you know, that will not happen. It will reverse the thing such that the esophagus is above the stomach and I will not get the reflux. And it worked, you guys. So now I sleep with two pillows. They are not so thick, so it's it's fine. I'm still comfortable. I'm hoping that will work to the end. Though there are days when I I wake up in the middle of the night and I can feel some pain in my stomach. So I don't know if it's my sleeping position or what. Uh, because when I try to relax, yeah, it just stops. So that's where we are at the moment. Um, what else? Um, during the ultrasound, <laughs> so during the, out, the second ultrasound, the midwife told me that my baby weighs 486 grams. I'm like, are you sure or are you saying these things wrongly because of the French and yeah, because she doesn't speak that good English. I'm like, 486 grams, but then I had added 7 kgs in total. And here she is telling me that the baby weighs 486 grams, but it's fine. I'm like, no, like it can't be. Anyway, she gave me the printed document that showed very well like the baby is with 486 grams and then there is the range. Um, my baby is on the lower, just slightly on the lower side, uh, which is okay. So I came back and Googled, I'm like, yeah, I need to confirm if it's okay or this, this lady was just comforting me. So yeah, I know I, I realized it's okay. And funny enough, the baby grows the most in that trimester. I, I, I'm finding it, you know, I'm enjoying learning these things because before I never paid any attention. So the baby grows the most during the, sec the that trimester, but one adds most of the weight during the second trimester i think it's because of the amniotic fluid and what have you you know i don't know so yeah <laughs> one ants most most of the weight in the second trimester and it's it's normal to even lose some weight during the third trimester so since mine has stagnated i'm really hoping it will not 
reduce if i don't add any more it's okay but i'm hoping not to lose any weight and if i add well and good even if i get at 70 you guys are not worried at all at all the most important thing is i don't feel heavy so yeah i think that's all about the, so uh, the second trimester it's been amazing and i'm happy where, with where i am in the third trimester i'm two weeks into the third trimester and so far so good i can still bend and uh, put on my shoes though i can feel the strain a little bit i can still reach my feet to scrub them um shaving haha <laughs> It's getting hard because I can't see, so it's just feeling with the hands and shaving. <laughs> that one is weird. So anyway, I'm able to run all my chores like without any problems, and I'm hoping that will be the case to the end because you guys know that I'm alone. So yeah, but also I, I, I try to be active so that in, even though I'm adding the weight, I don't feel heavy so that I'm, I'm unable to, to do the house so i think that's all about the second trimester and i'll try and document the that trimester help me oh god this one i'll try and take those weekly weekly uh photos and yeah we'll see we'll see what happens in the third trimester so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one and by the way if you're not subscribed please hit the subscription button and yeah also the notification bell so that you can be notified when i upload a new video so bye